Wilson Kipkata, you are a Monaco resident, so you haven't travelled so far to be here. No, tonight was not uh, far away. Just uh, came from my apartment to here, so it's really nice, you know, sometimes to do something in your home, so you don't have to drive, you don't have to be in the car and uh, not plane. So it's really something good, you know. I've been in Monaco and it's, uh, it's been a good place to stay. And also Monaco is really a sporty place, you know, people to meet. It's uh, easy access to come to here from uh, Italy, Swiss, you know, Germany. So it's really a good place to be. And just remind us of your extraordinary career. Of course, you're known for breaking Sebastian Coe's 800 metres record and then for succumbing to malaria that in some respects uh, stunted your career. No, in, uh, things went well, you know, I mean, from 95, so I was running well for almost uh, three years. Of course, I had some problem in Atlanta. I didn't go to Olympic. And then in 97, so breaking the Sevco record, you know, so it was really uh, the highlight of the story about also Sevco in uh, parliament, losing the parliament seat and uh, losing the record. So it was really a big, uh, <laughs> big story. And then after that, so, you know, so I was really planning to see... Um, our 98 was going to be, you know, because uh, coming up running 140, uh, 141.11, so I was really seeing to see that I could go further than that. But uh, things happened, so I got malaria in a 98, and I tried to come back very fast, with, uh, which I made a mistake. And I was number eight in the European Championship last, running 151. So I took a break in that period, not running, and I came back in 99, so I won again a World Championship. And in 2000, so I broke a 1,000 meter indoors record two times. And then in Sydney, I had injury three weeks before the Olympic, but I managed. So I won a silver medal. But I keep continuing some motivating of Olympic. But then in Athens, so I was a third in Athens. So, you know, so I won many medals. And then in 2002, so I won the European Championship also there as a revenge of 98. <laughs> So, so things went well from there, and then so it was not the same as when I was coming back before. It was smooth, building up all the three years in a training, and then I had a setback in 98, which made things difficult to come. It's still one of the great athletic careers. What did you do after your athletic career, and what do you do now? You, I try to stay in athletics most of the time, so I've been in a high level left, so uh, traveling to a youth championship, a uh, junior championship, to really to motivate the young one, you know, it's not about winning as a junior, but, you know, in the future, you know, if you develop to be an Olympic champion, a world champion, a world record holder, or you can stay in sport for a longer period, as, more as, uh, as long as you're improving your times. So I try to do that, and then I've been working also in Itapol in different departments, you know, and the topping department, bringing an outreach program to talk to the young one also about the problem with the topping, you know, some tone tech when they are still doing the sport, they have to enjoy the sport instead of topping themselves and all this. So I've been doing that for the last eight years. And then for the last two years, so I've been working with the Peace and Sport here in Monaco, so which uh, Prince Albert is the patron of the organization. So it's been really something good, working with uh, 80 champions from uh, different sports. We have in football, we have swimming, we have tennis, we have uh, horse racing, we have uh, you name it. Yeah. So You're still right at the heart of sport, which is so great to see. So I'm still enjoying uh, being in part of the sports. But now I think so I'm, I'm going to get more involved in more in sports things, so sports management and then sports marketing. And then also he's uh, trying to make the athletes to know that it's not only about running, it's about building the image, which you know you can stand in front of television sell yourself, present yourself nice. So I'm working on that also in sight of that. And now I started my own foundation to help street kids in Kenya. So in a small town where I come from, so there's a lot of street kids now after, um, you know, 2007 and 2008 with the election. So some parents, they left their kids and ran away. Some parents, they died. Some parents died with uh, AIDS, sickness, without uh, and there's a lot of kids coming up now. So I started uh, doing that project. It's wonderfully inspiring to have you here. Thank you so much, Wilson Kipkitter. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. All right. <laughs>